vlog channel so today is actually wednesday the 3rd of february i feel like february is already going really really fast i feel like january literally lasted an entirety of a lifetime and now it's already the 3rd of feb i remember literally waking up on february 1st being like oh my god it's finally february and now we're on the third day and i feel like i've done nothing in, in fact everyone's done nothing because no one can still do anything but hi everyone um i'm up this morning nice and early i've been laid in bed editing I believe you can see my laptop set uploading some footage i now actually have a meeting so basically if you're wondering why i'm up dressed and ready with my shoes on and ready to go i basically have a meeting this morning i need to go up to anna's apartment because we actually have a meeting regarding the podcast obviously we want to revamp and restart the podcast and stuff so we've got a meeting this morning with our management literally in 10 minutes time i was sat on my laptop editing in bed and we're like oh my god shit i've got a meeting so i literally jumped out of bed threw on some clothes and i'm gonna go up there it's literally like 10 minutes until the meeting starts but i want to get myself a coffee and stuff and anna's got a coffee machine and it's fucking so I'm gonna go up there, get myself a coffee, have the meeting, but look at the state of my room. I need to come back down and sort this out because this is just not acceptable. I cleared my wardrobe out yesterday. It's an organized mess. Like that is all charity pile. This is stuff that I've already posted on Depop. These are obviously my coat hangers from the stuff. My bedding, ignore this. This, my bedding and my like socks and my underwear on the floor. That is just because I literally have just rolled out of bed and been like, shit, I need to get into this meeting. And then this is stuff that needs to be still put on Depop. So I need to do all that when I come back. However, I have a lovely little meeting this morning. I feel, I like the fact that I've got an agenda this morning. Like I like the fact that I've got an early meeting because it's made me get out of bed and actually like start my day early. Like I woke up this morning at half past nine and started cracking on with editing straight away instead of laying in bed scrolling for hours on social media because I knew I had shit to do. So it feels nice to have a little bit of a routine, do you know what I mean? Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Baltimore. Been a while and you're probably thinking, Barry, where have you been? What have you been doing? And I can tell you exactly what I've been doing and where I've been. The answer's right there, baby. Right in front of you. That's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> so I have done nothing for probably like two weeks now. I went for a real stage, which I actually spoke about in my initial video. So I'm not going to get into it too much. I don't want to repeat myself. However, I went for a real stage of not knowing what the hell I was doing. I literally was in my room just working all the time. I got really down and like in my head about a lot of things. But I'm Friday and I'm out of it. I have recovered from that little, that little episode that little phase of my life. I also changed my bedroom around, which you probably haven't seen. In fact, you haven't seen it yet because I haven't shown it on my blog channel. I only showed it on my main channel, but I have in fact switched my bedroom around. So I'll show you that in a second if you haven't watched my main channel video. However, that is the situation. That is the case. That is the issue. That is the point. That is the period. Today is actually Friday the 19th of February. So yeah, I apologize for um, not uploading much on this channel. I really haven't done anything to vlog and I really have not had the motivation or anything really to say. Look at my camera and I know I post like three vlogs in a row and then go missing for like two months and that's purely because I need more time to experience more things to actually give you something to talk about. I've got a blister on my foot. So yeah that is where I've been, that's what I've been up to. I really like I said haven't been doing anything. I've literally been working, being in my bedroom, nothing really exciting is happening in my life. However today I thought I'd pick up my camera. I feel like I've missed you guys. I feel like I haven't tried to in a while. I woke up this morning Look how cute this jumper is, by the way. I actually got a bunch of people asking where this jumper's from. I found it on Depop. I basically saw everyone raving about brown gap jumpers, and I saw people selling for like 400 pounds on Depop and eBay. And I went on, I was like, you know what, I'll just look to see if there's like anyone selling one for slightly cheaper. Like, I really wanted a brown jumper, but I couldn't find one anywhere. And then I found this one for 140 pounds, which is still really, really expensive. However, I literally saw everyone else selling for like 400 pounds. So even if I sold this on, which I'm not planning on doing, I could have. I've had quite a productive morning actually. It is currently, what time is it? It's 12 o'clock I think. It's 12 o'clock. I spent the morning in bed editing. I then just had a meeting on Zoom. And now I'm just sort of sat here. It's going to cut me my hair at some point today because boy, I don't think you realise how long my hair is. But it is so unbelievably long. So I'm going to get Haz to do a full 360 day on my hair. She's literally just sorting her life out. And then I'm going to sit, have my hair cut, which I cannot wait for. We bought a new razor the other day, which looks incredible. Obviously Haz cuts me my hair whether we're in lockdown or not. So it's not going to really be a difference. However, we want to test the new razor out. We also got some new like clippy scissors for the top of my hair. So we're going to try and do a full transformation. And then I need to go out and actually shoot some photos. I found a location actually like a big white warehouse looking thing near my house. And I really want to shoot in front of it. I've got to shoot an ad for ASOS. So I think me and Anna are actually going to go out, try and find some cool photo locations, try and shoot some cool images. And that's basically going to be my day. We're going to have some food later in the evening. It's going to be lovely. Lovely little Friday. However, it does look like it's going to rain. And I did check the weather and it says, 80% rain between 12 and 1. So I'm hoping it doesn't rain too 
too much. However, we shall see, we shall see. I need to actually make myself some breakfast and start my day because I've not eaten yet, which is not great. Just thought I'd check in with you, see how you're all doing, see how you're all coping with this lockdown. This is my room, by the way. So I changed it around. I need to make my bed, but I've not made it yet because I need to actually change the bed in. The only thing that's really changed is I moved my little side desk, side table, cabinet thing, I don't know what the fuck to call it, from there around to this corner. But yeah, that's the situation. I also did put this little situation here. However, I moved my desk from this wall to put it there because my desk chair literally said that it weren't coming for another few months. And then I got an email last night saying that it's been dispatched and should be here by the end of the month. So then I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm going to have to rejig my entire room again. Don't know where I'm going to put this if my desk has to go back there because I don't have the space here. And I really like how this is just here. So I don't know. Maybe we'll have to figure out that when it comes to it. I might have to put it against this window. I'm honestly not too sure. But that's the situation. There are the clothes I've got to shoot in today and my jacket. So just ignore that. I'm going to go and make some breakfast. Don't I? I don't know what to have for breakfast. I went through a stage of having boiled eggs on toast. Oh my God, I might have boiled eggs on bagel. That is literally what I'm gonna have. I went through a stage of having toast all the time and then my obsession switched to bagels and it stayed at bagels. However, I feel like I have to be in the mood for a bagel. It's not, it doesn't go down as that like, easy as toast. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, also guys, I got this cup the other day from Starbucks. I actually got two of them. I have one on my bedside all the time and this one it just needs to go in the dishwasher. But these are honestly a lifesaver. I know that like, Olivia Neal and Sophia and Chintu and everyone have these and talk about them a lot. And I know people are like really annoyed because they're not in every Starbucks. However, £2.50 for a reusable Starbucks cup. I literally have never drank so much water in my life just because of how convenient it is in this little cup. And it also makes me feel like I'm actually like, I don't know, a fancy little bitch drinking out one of these. <laughs> I really am that bitch. I've come back like, hi everyone, I've got the cat hoodie that everyone's hyping over and also the Starbucks cup. Pampas grass, anyone? Also, look how cute these cakes are from Lockdown Bakery. We got to send these on Valentine's Day and I actually didn't vlog on Valentine's Day. We literally just had a little movie night with a cheese board and stuff, but we got sent these cupcakes. And how fucking cute are these? They once said my name on it. And also, these little papers on top, I thought these papers were like sugar paper or icing paper or whatever the hell it's called, the ones that you can eat. So I was sat chewing on the one that said my name on it. But literally like two minutes before, Haz was staring at me thinking, what the hell is he doing? Turns out it's just actual paper and they're just for decoration. So so that's great. Um, but how freaking cute. Valentine's. Very sweet. Right. Boom! Right, <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, has it just done me a little lovely haircut? Rate it out of 10. If you want your haircut after lockdown, um, send your inquiries to Haz. I actually really, really like it. Now, me and Anna are gonna go, I like I said this morning, I need to shoot some ASOS first, so I'm gonna go and shoot those. Like I said, don't know if I said this, we found a really cool, like, white shutter. Um, oh my god, I've put bronzer on my face, not, and not under my eyelids. I feel like it looks like I've got, like, highlight under my eyelids or something. I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, Haz's new phone just arrived as well. I'm very jealous, I'm very, very jealous. <laughs> We decided, you know, little moment, both order new phones, we thrive in. Mine don't arrive till Monday though. So I'm literally just gonna get ready now. I'm so itchy because of the haircut, but I don't wanna change my t-shirt. Purely because I'm literally gonna wear it for a photo and then get out of it. But um, I need to get my shit together. And I thought I would show ya. I literally get asked questions. I don't mind putting it down there now, I'm still talking. I get asked questions every single time I post a photo or anything with my hair done and not my hat on, how I actually do my hair. So I thought I would give you a little hair tutorial. It's not really a tutorial but this is what I do whenever I do my hair. In fact, I'm gonna sit up to my desk and do it there. This is my hair literally just washed and dried after I've had it cut, as you can see. It's quite textured. It's not exactly like bang straight as it used to be. Basically, I get has to actually really chop into my hair so it's all different lengths. So it adds some sort of texture, otherwise it would be pinned straight. And also my fringe, I think from literally just blow drying my fringe up for so many years, it has like a slight little wave to it. As you can see, it's not like pinned straight. However, I then get um, this curling wand. I've literally had this for, since I was like 14. And Barton. I'm not necessarily recommending this exact brand. It does the trick. I don't think it'd be good for a girl's hair because it gets hot, but I wouldn't say it gets hot enough to do like long hair. Um, but obviously it's really, really thin, like a thin barreled curling tongue. And all I do is get my hair. You want a curling tongue as well, not a wand. You want it to have this bit on. If you've got short hair, you want it to have this bit on. Otherwise you have to like, like most of them, you just wrap it around like that. And obviously you won't be able to do it. So I just get a piece of my hair, take it to the end like that, and then roll it back. And then wait a couple seconds and then take it off like that. And it just adds a little curl and then I literally just rub it like that. And it gets rid of the curl, but like, can you see it makes it more textured and more like and then this is literally what my hair looks like afterwards. As you can see, it's a bit curly, but it will actually drop. I just like to put a bit of texture through it. And then I literally just spray it with sea salt spray and be on with my day, do you know what I mean? The sea salt spray that I use, just because I feel like I'm gonna get questions, the sea salt spray that I use is actually by Murdoch London. I also use their texture 
texture paste and it's actually really good and I've just been buying it since. It is quite expensive, I think it's like £28 for like both of, like for both of them. But it lasts a while and honestly, this wax and this sea salt spray is bloody amazing, I love it. I feel like the messier it looks the better. Mish Bash Bosch. Wash your hands. Oh my god, I've run out of hands up. I don't know why the light is so bad or if you could even see any of what I just did. But um, that is how I do my hair. It drops over the, like, now I'm looking at it and thinking, oh god, it's a bit too much. But obviously it drops out as the day goes on, so like an hour's time or something. It won't be this crazy. But yeah, I need to get ready. I need to actually put on this outfit and get going because the sunlight is very shit today. Yeah.